This is our bacteria overview figure. In this video, we'll be discussing Staphylococcus saprophyticus, which you can see right here. This scene takes place in a wooded area next to a large sap tree. Sap sounds kind of like saprophyticus, so we've used a sap tree as our symbol for this organism. Sap, saprophyticus. Notice that this girl has come to the tree to collect some sap. Maybe she's planning on using it for a delicious meal. Do you notice anything unique about her shirt? That's right, it's purple. We've shown her wearing a purple shirt to help you remember that Staph saprophyticus is a gram-positive organism. This is a gram stain of Staphylococci organisms, which we've shown in several other videos. Again, notice that the organism stains purple, which is why it's a gram-positive organism. Also notice that the bacteria are circular or cocci-shaped and that they form clusters. This type of morphology is unique to Staphylococci. Okay, moving on. Pay close attention to a few other details about this cartoon girl. She's a young, attractive-looking cartoon, and she also appears a bit frightened. She got so nervous that she accidentally urinated, and you can see the urine on the ground right below her. These ideas were shown in the image to help you remember that Staph saprophyticus is a common cause of urinary tract infections in sexually active women. So a young, attractive-looking girl who urinated for UTI in sexually active women. Okay, I mentioned that she appears a bit frightened, which is why she urinated. But why? Well, because there's this massive bison who appears to be guarding the tree. Who wouldn't be frightened standing two feet away from this massive animal? Luckily, the bison is tied up with his chain, so maybe she'll be okay if she collects the sap quickly and gets the heck out of there. We've included the bison in this image to help you remember that Staph saprophyticus is novobiosin resistant. The fact that the bison has a chain around him alludes to the idea that he's exerting a resisting force on the tree. So, resistant bison for a novobiosin resistant. We discussed this figure in section 9, which was our video on the Viridans group streptococci, but recall that if there is no clearing around a disc saturated with novobiosin, then the organism is novobiosin resistant. Notice that there isn't a zone of clearing directly adjacent to this disc. So, if this were a novobiosin disc, then the organism here would be novobiosin resistant. For step one, you need to know that Staph saprophyticus is novobiosin resistant. Okay, let's continue discussing the image. Notice that we've included our happy pet cat who has decided to come along for this risky adventure. The cat realizes that the bison can't reach it, so it's seen arrogantly marking its territory. Just like in other images, the cat represents catalase. Remember, if we include the cat in this image, it's catalase positive. If it's not included, then you can assume that the organism is catalase negative. So Staph saprophyticus is a catalase positive organism. This is a picture demonstrating the catalase test, which we covered in more detail in section seven, which was our video on listeria. Recall that the bubbles indicate that the organism is catalase positive. 